Hello, this is Steve from SDR Play Limited. In this video, we're going to look at using Ham Radio Deluxe or HRD in conjunction with SDR Uno. We often hear from users that have been using HRD and it works fine controlling their rig back and forth, and also SDR Uno also works fine controlling their rig, but they have an issue if they try and run both of them together. For example, if they want to use the logging capabilities of HRD or use the uh, DM780 uh, program for uh, decoding digital modes. But don't worry, we have a solution and it's quite easy to implement. The problem, as shown on the left, is that using either HRD or SDR Uno individually, there's no problem controlling the rig. It's when they get used together that we have a big crash where OmniRig and HRD are both simultaneously trying to control the rig and everything crashes and burns. So the solution to that is quite straightforward. We continue to allow SDR Uno to control the rig via OmniRig. But instead of controlling the rig with HRD, instead we have HRD control SDR Uno using the CAT capabilities. And it's actually quite easy to set up using a virtual serial port pair. So let's have a look and I'll show you how this happens in practice. Now the first thing you'll want to do is secure a virtual serial port. I used a device called VSPE which is available from uh, etalogic.com. Uh, the uh, VSPE software is free for 32-bit systems but there is a licensing fee if you use the 64-bit version. So you can just download that from the download link here and install uh, in the usual fashion and you'll end up with a icon on your desktop here. So we'll launch VSPE first and uh, you'll see that I have the warnings here because I've not yet registered my 64-bit version and it likes to nag me about it. And we, we start up with this um, blank screen. So the first thing we want to do is set up a device, device create, and uh, by default it says connector but what we want to do is we want to set up a pair and basically set up two logically connected virtual ports. So if we hit next, we're allowed to specify the names of these virtual ports. And to be consistent with the SDR Uno user's manual, I'm going to set up COM10 and COM11, which are probably safe for most systems uh, and out of the range of anything else that may be on your system. But if there is a problem and you already are using COM10 and COM11 for something else, just pick some different values. So we can click finish. Uh, we see our serial port pair is here and it's ready. So I'll just put that down out of the way. And the next step is to launch SDR Uno. And I have my uh, SDR Uno hooked up to uh, an RSP1A. And uh, okay, here's my basic uh, screen I'm going to be using. And what we need to do at this point is go into settings for the VRX. This is the VRX that would be controlling our rig. You see our SIN 1 is connected. So we go into settings and we pick CAT. And under CAT we select COM10. Remember that was one of the two pairs we set up down here. Board rate doesn't really matter but I'll go for the maximum, 115.2. And uh, if we check enable and connect, we find that we're connected. And that's basically all we have to do in SDR Uno. If, we, if I had a, a rig here to, to hook up, I would have that set up via, in the conventional fashion, and you probably got it set up already. I would go to the O-Rig tab here. I would start OmniRig, and my rig type would show up here. The status would, would show up here, and it would say connected to OmniRig server. But that's uh, beyond the scope of this video. That's been covered well elsewhere. So now that we've got uh, Uno set up for cat control, we can go ahead and we can start Ham Radio Deluxe, which I think is hiding over here. Now you may already have Ham Radio Deluxe set up for uh, controlling the rig directly. And you can keep that connection. You don't have to lose that whatsoever. But what you will want to do for this t application is you'll want to go in and you'll want to select, make a new connection. This would be how it was already set up, normally using COM3 or 4 for direct control. But for what we're doing here, we want to go to new. We want to select Kenwood and TS480, COM11 we want for the COM port, and again 
and we then click on connect and the words flash by and sure enough here's our standard HRD rig control window so uh, we notice as we did that it synced to the same frequency as UNO so let's get UNO playing and let's see what's going on and uh, seems like we have some activity going on on 20 meters here and there so let's just see if we can tune into a signal that one looked quite strong up there and you'll notice as I as I've been uh, clicking across the band here I'm now at 14.2845 uh, HRD has adjusted to correspond with that uh, there's somebody else transmitting down here so we can go down here to 141695 and again HRD is following us uh, I'll turn on the mute so it's not distracting for us uh, likewise if we retune within HRD um, we can adjust the frequency with this slider here and as we adjust it up here we see that same frequency is mirrored uh, below uh, on the uh, SDR UNO main spectrum window so really that's pretty straightforward and now uh, for example if you want to go ahead and use DM780 for digital modes you'll be synced up correctly with your rig and SDR UNO so let's go back to uh, review what we did and uh, essentially we installed a virtual serial port pair in this particular instance I use something called VSPE I believe there are other virtual serial ports out there that work just as well we then used the cat tab in SDR UNO in the VRX settings window and selected COM10 and that allowed uh, that made our connection with the virtual serial port then in HRD we set up a new connection and we used uh, Kenwood TS480 settings and COM11 and then back in SDR UNO if we hadn't done so already we could set up OmniRig using the O-Rig tag in the main settings window and uh, that would let UNO control the rig uh, a brief summary of this also appears in the SDR UNO users manual section 14 but it may not have been uh, as clear as it could have been to first time users which is one reason why we put together this video and uh, that's it if uh, thank you very much for watching the video if you need any further information please visit our web website at www.sdrplay.com 73s